Hey guys, in this week's tip, we're going to continue on with our series of creating promotions within SMS that are aimed at driving consumer behavior. This week's tip comes to us by special request. Now the actual promotion isn't all that complicated, but what makes it a little bit different or adds an extra little twist is we're going to actually create a printed coupon that prints on the receipt printer in this case and is intended to be used on the consumer's next visit to the store. So as an example, we've got a pretty simple promotion displayed here on the screen. If a customer spends $100 on any one particular order, they get $5 off. Now in the past, we've taken that $5 discount off the order as it's being rung up. In this case, we added a little twist for you to compound the promotional capabilities. We're going to print a coupon on the receipt printer that's valid for the customer's next visit into the store. So that's pretty cool. You know, we're not requiring a customer number or anything like that. You could say this is anonymous loyalty. As long as they spend at least 100 bucks in the store, this coupon is going to get pr printed out. Now, don't get confused here. You see the $5 here. That's not added to the grand total. All I did was ring up $113.79 in a grocery sub department. And you can see that $5. It's not adding to the total here, and it's not adding to the total on the receipt. That's just being tracked in a totalizer so that when the customer comes back in, presents the receipt shit with a barcode on it at their next visit, they get their $5 off. So pretty simple stuff. But let's hop over to SMS Pro and I'll show you how to set all this up. Okay, so I hopped over to SMS Pro and I'm set up in the basic item calls view that you've seen me use a gazillion times. I went ahead and pre-populated it in with the item number I want to create because the first thing that we're going to do is create the item for the electronic coupon. So I went ahead and populated that here. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and I'm going to fill all the tables like we normally do. Now I cheated a little bit and I copy and pasted in my descriptor, but basically all I'm doing is saying, this is called the spend 100 bucks, get $5 off your next visit. You can fill out the rest of this stuff as necessary. Now when we hop down to the POS table, we're going to have to go ahead and hit the plus because we're adding a record. We'll just go ahead and answer yes for the current item. We want to copy that down. And the little cheat that you already know about, you just double click here in the POS description field and it copies down from the main item description. So that's a neat little tip. Now what are the next steps? You guys know, you've already seen some of these videos, right? Well, but of course you have. So we know we're creating an electronic coupon and we're not necessarily going to have a price field. So we need to come down here to this others field, double click and tell the system we are going to enable zero price for this item we're creating. So what else do we got to do? Well, we got to come over here to the electronic coupon field. We got to double click it and select e-coupon. It's also a store coupon versus a vendor coupon in this case because this is a promotion that we're doing for the store. Now you see this little field right down here, printed coupon? We'll get to that in just a second. I want to go ahead and set up the coupon and prove to you that it works. Then we'll come back here and I'll show you how to do this printed piece. Okay, smarty pants, what's the next step? Well, heck, you guys know this. We need to set up the coupon link table. We go to the item menu, come down to coupon link, and it's going to open up the coupon link table. Now, I'm going to drag it up here because it'll allow us to see the full menu here when it pops up here in just a second. Now, we know we're creating an electronic coupon. We just opened the coupon link table. We have to add a record, so let's hit the plus sign over here for add. We're going to start over here in the type field. I'm going to double click, and it's going to open up the available options for the types of coupons. Now, remember, we're telling the customers that they got to spend a hundred bucks in the store and they're going to get five dollars off their next visit. So what do you think our type of coupon is going to be? Well, that's pretty simple. It's total sales. We're going to come right down here, hit total sales. You'll see you'll get the little acronym there. Now in the code field, it's just one order. So there's nothing really hard to think about here. Just add the number one. That's pretty simple. The totalizer is three. That's already pre-populated for us. We're not really talking about a quantity in this case. We're talking about an amount. So we're going to go ahead and type in 100. Don't forget to hit the decimal and two zeros. That way SMS sees it as $100 and not just $1 if you hit on 100. Now we're going to go ahead and save that by hitting the apply changes. And you can see our coupon link is all set up here. So we told it the criteria. Total sales, 100 bucks. Now what do you think we got to do? Well, it's pretty obvious. We got to tell the system how much the discount should be. We've already set the criteria right here, 100 bucks on the order. Now we have to set what the discount is going to be when the customer spends 100 bucks. Now we're just going to come right down here to the price table. Now remember, we started this as a new item, so we got to come over here and add a record to start a price table. We're going to go ahead and say no to the default, and that's going to set up our price level one that you're used to using. Now this promotion is not real complicated, so we don't need to overthink it. We're just giving five dollars off via this electronic coupon that we created right here. So all we have to do is set the price to five dollars. That's pretty simple. Go ahead and save that, and there you go. We got a five dollar coupon. 
if the customer spends a hundred bucks we haven't messed around with the printed piece yet so I want to show you that this coupon works then I'll show you all this neat and fancy stuff over here okay so we hopped over to SMS POS real quick because I want to show you that the promotion that we just set up the electronic coupon works so I'm just gonna type in real quick here hundred and twelve dollars and I'm just gonna sign it to the grocery sub you can see I met the criteria over a hundred bucks on my order now when I hit the subtotal key right down here we should see the electronic coupon pop up here because again we just set it up as a regular old electronic coupon we haven't messed with any of that printing fancy stuff yet so if I hit subtotal there you can see it we can net the two that's how we get to the hundred and seven dollar total because we subtracted the five dollar electronic coupon so we know it works now let's go ahead and expand this just a bit to make it even more powerful so I hopped back over to SMS Pro and now we're going to go ahead and set this electronic coupon that's just a regular old electronic coupon giving us five bucks off to a printed coupon that's going to be used on the customers next visit to the store to do that you guys already know how to do this well at least one part of it you do it's pretty simple you come right down here to the printed coupon field and you just click it so now it's going to be a printed coupon rather than given on the transaction as it's happening now there's one other step that we have to do in order to make this work we have to tell the system on what coupon form we want the coupon to print out on because we have different templates just like a receipt template just like a uh, a customer display template just like a label template all these templates that are available to you you can have multiple ones so what we're going to do is use the ticket field right over here just to the left and we're going to tell it that the template we want to use is the coupon win template now what that is is referencing an HTM file that we set up via the label maker that allows you to print out the coupon to however the heck it is you want it to look. I'll show you an example one here in a second. Mine isn't real pretty, but I'll show you an example. Now truly, the system defaults the coupon CPN underscore win that you see right here. I go ahead and type it in because it's a good teachable moment. You can have different templates, so maybe this is a little bit different. Your naming convention could be different, whatever it may be. It's always a good idea to go ahead and put it in here and just make it simple like that. So all we have to do is apply the changes, and now this coupon is going to go from a regular electronic coupon given at the time of sale to one that's printed on this form, on this template, that can be used the next time the customer comes in. That's pretty cool. So real quick, before we hop over into the POS and test this baby out, I want to show you an example of what this template, this coupon printed template, looks like. Now, mine's not real pretty, and this isn't a little training on how to set these things up. So yeah, it's kind of ugly. You can giggle all you want. But this is the template that we refer to right over here in the ticket field that says the customer's going to save five bucks because they met the criteria of the electronic coupon that we set up. Now, this little barcode right here, look at that. Well, mine's kind of fake, but you'll get the idea. Look what it's relating to. That's the exact item number that we set up for this electronic coupon. So when you scan this barcode on the customer's next visit, guess what's going to happen? Well, heck, I'll show you. Let's go over. Alrighty, so we hop back over to the POS. I went ahead and set this up, so we went ahead and rung up $117.50 with the groceries. When we hit the subtotal key, we should see, just like we did at the very beginning of the video, that, hey, you got a printed coupon that's going to come out on the receipt printer. When we hit subtotal, yep, there it is. That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. The total was $117.50. That's all matching. It's just notifying both the cashier and the customer that they're getting that printed coupon at the end. Now, when I tender out here, you even saw this on the initial part of this video, I can't really show you what that's going to be on the screen here. But I'll give you an example of what's going to happen. You already saw my ugly template. So now, if we close all this out and clear it out, let's give you an example of what's going to happen when we ring this bad boy up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say, oh, $25, and we're going to spend it in grocery again. Now remember, I didn't have any requirements on this particular coupon that the customer had to spend so much to get the $5 off. They just had to come back to the store. So let's kind of fake this that I'm going to go ahead and scan the barcode on the bottom of that receipt shit that we gave when we printed out that coupon. So if I remember right, the, the item number was 9612345111114. Now if I hit the PLU key, we should see some magic happen right over here. And oh, there it is. Look at that. The coupon item came up. It netted the sale. You can see it's a store coupon, so it's going to be calculated and totalized and all that good stuff, just like we're used to, and it netted out the total. Now, that's pretty cool. You just 
got a customer to meet a criteria, in this case, spend 100 bucks in the store, we'll give you a coupon for your next visit, and lo and behold, that customer came back, they spent a little bit more in your store, and you gave them the discount. Getting a customer that we didn't know who it was, just regular old anonymous loyalty, we don't care who the customer is, we just want them to come back and visit our store again. This is an excellent way to do that. Well, that's it for this week's tip. Hopefully we've given you yet another idea on how to expand the promotional capabilities with SMS. Until next time, have a great day.